What's up guys, this is Eyes of Apollo bringing you one of the greatest games and my most anticipated game of the year. This thing is like the shit. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Holy crap, this game just kicks any game's ass all this year. Because, you know, I was really hyped about Destiny, but you know, that sucked so much. And Drive Club, oh my god, don't get me started. That's one of the greatest games of the year. But, uh, this game is just so goddamn awesome and it looks pretty cool too i mean like the the whole graphics and whatever you want to talk about but here's the customization you know you get a bunch of different sites and shit you can mess with the reticles definitely though this is one of the greatest games ever made for call of duty you know because all the other games have sucked not gonna lie about it but uh this game is so much to it. look at all these weapons these weapons are crazy, and then they have like other weapons to add to those weapons. They're like majestic as fuck weapons. Like right there, there's two different crossbows, and one of them's gold. But uh, yeah, here's you know the uh, upgradable stuff. You know you can mess around. That's the stuff you can unlock with these things called supply drops, which are pretty sweet. And you can unlock some things but some of them are only time they only have like a time limit to them so you have like 30 minutes to wear that thing but you get some sweet goggles you get some cool ass helmets so you can customize your character you know what i think the funniest part about this game is there's more customization and uniqueness than destiny that said it's gonna have such a huge online community oh god that's a slap to the face right there but uh yeah the best part about this game, though, is if you, you know, pre-ordered it, you got a gold exo skeleton suit, whatever the hell you want to call it, because, you know, in the battlefield, you want to just stand out and have a shiny exoskeleton thing so you can get shot up. Here's all the game modes, and they even brought back the old Call of Duty, which I'd call Welfare, the playlist, because, you know, you don't have an exoskeleton in that one, so, you know, cheap as fuck. But here's the exo survival which I love so much because you can pretty much just, you know, revive everyone on your team by yourself that you don't know. And they do the coolest thing ever when you revive your whole team. See, like right here, I just shot that dog, which I hate doing because I love dogs. I fucking love dogs. But, uh, here we go. Uh, you know, I got that revive, you know, got that swiggity swag. And I, re I revive this, dude. Because, you know, I love reviving people because, you know, it's teamwork. And, you know, they go trotting around, you know, doing their own thing and shit. And then I get shot up right here. And this is the best thing that ever happened to me. They don't come back and revive me. The fuck you do that? I revive two of your teammates. And you can see that. And you don't do it. But here is the, uh, the coolest game of basketball, I think, in mankind. I think we should totally just switch this to the normal basketball, because basketball's boring as shit anyway. So why not have one where, like, people get shot up? And you just run in, throw that in there. Shazam. Well, bam. Thank you, ma'am. You know, I'm pretty beast at this, you know? I shoot threes all day. I don't know if they're three-pointers, but you can shoot them from pretty far. You can throw them into the orb thingy. And then you get cool exo additions, like this little stealth thing, like, boom! Like, I bet he didn't see that coming. But anyways, here's the title screen, just in case you wanted to see that. You know, because everyone wants to see a title screen. But they did a really cool thing if you got digital. Like, my internet cut out right at that time. And guess what? I couldn't play for, like, ten minutes. That is one of the greatest features of mankind. Oh, God. So great. And just in case you forgot who made the game, they add who made the game in the title screen every time you load up the game it's pretty pretty damn amazing it is just so damn amazing i don't even know what to do with my life anymore after seeing that oh god but i'm gonna bring you now online play is one of the most major things in this game as well as survival mode but i'm gonna show you you know a little bit of the story mode and the story mode looks really good and stuff but um it has some flaws on it like who the fuck plays the campaign for call of duty right when it first comes out are you kidding me so yeah this is my sum up of call of duty you know because nobody plays the fucking campaign on the first day unless you don't have internet and even if you did have no internet you couldn't even play it on a digital mode because they stop you right after the title screen but uh yeah i give this uh 
game, probably like a 20 out of 10. It's pretty good. Um, you know, I highly suggest you buy it. And if you don't have money, you know, beat up somebody that has the game and just take it from them. Just kidding. I don't condone beating up people unless they're bullies. Just do that. Fine. No big deal. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to post up, you know, some videos and stuff on this. And, uh, yeah, it's probably one of the best games I've ever seen in my life. Um, I had to wash out my eyes a few times, not because it was so ugly, but because my eyes couldn't handle it and they were strained, so I had to cool them off. But, uh, yeah, you know, there's a lot of games that come out this year that I'm going to really enjoy, but this one is definitely hands down the greatest game ever made in the history of video games. Like, Zelda Ocarina of Time ain't got shit on this, you know? Greatest game ever made. You heard it. Eyes of Apollo. Don't quote me on it because it might not be the greatest game, but it's one of the greatest games. So check it out. Check out the other stuff on my channel. Check out the stuff I'm going to come out in the future. Hit that like button. Don't hit the like button. Come over to my house. Punch me in the face. Or just leave a comment about if you think this review sucks. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. And as always, this is Eyes of Apollo.